Hey guys, so this is the look we're going to do today. Um, it is inspired by Aishwarya Ray. I, I don't know how to say her name. She's a Bollywood actress. Um, and I got this request a while ago and it was actually really challenging for me to pick a look and then do it right. So that's why it took so long, but I'm, I'm doing it, which is a good thing. And, um, and uh, yeah, enjoy guys. Okay, so I already have my um, girlfriendly paint pot. If you don't have that one, you could use something like groundwork or any kind of matte pink base. That I, It doesn't really look pink to me, but whatever. The next color that I'm going to use is called Hoax H... I don't know why I hold these up. H-A-U-X. It's from MAC. And it's just kind of like a... almost like a dead brown pink. And I'm going to take my 252 and I'm going to pack this all over my lid and then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to kind of up on a slant just kind of pack it up that way too um, just to give your eye kind of a more elongated shape we're going to blend it out so don't freak out if you kind of get a gross shape going on there like I have take a 224 or any kind of fluffy shader brush and uh, get some of that same color on there and just kind of blend it out a little bit softer all around the edges you can blend it down in just those circle motions works back and forth along the crease Okay. Then I'm going to take this color, and it's Era. It's um, a really shiny brown color. On my 224, I'm just going to put it over the top of my lid and use it almost as a blending color. Um, and do you remember the Rihanna look that we did and it kind of winged out? That's kind of the same trick I'm using, so just doing that back and forth kind of winged out look. And if you get your color too high, that's okay. You just want to make sure that it's really soft and blended. And then I'm going to work with this area a little bit later. But really, really blend this down. Then what I did was I took carbon, this one, black, and I, I used two brushes for this because my eyes are really, really hard to get that kind of Arabic point to because I just don't have that shape to my eye. So it took, I have my hair pinned and it's doing this weird thing, so I'm sorry. Um, so I had to use two brushes and um, I'll go back in and we'll blend this up a little bit later. The first one I used was the angled 263 and I just started to make that shape. Just kind of patting it along the lid. It really does not have to be perfect because you're going to go over it with liner and just kind of get the outline for your cat eye shape going and then go all the way to the inside and then I took this like teeny tiny little it's the 210 and this is where I made this line this mark coming out and down and that's because it's so hard for me to pull this look off. It has to be so precise for my eyes because I have the most ridiculous shaped eyes, I guess, for this look. So I kind of bring it out farther than I need to just to give myself some wiggle room. Um, then if you want to take like a 217 and take the color rice paper it's kind of a yellowy highlight and just use this up top here to kind of blend this color 
down a little bit. You can. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my 24-7 eye pencil and I'm going to outline this exact shape and then do the inner rim as well and I'll be right back to show you. Okay, so I got most of this done. I'm just doing all the way in to this inner rim here and just kind of feathering out this corner going into the waterline on the top and on the bottom. Okay, so now I'm going to again take my carbon eyeshadow with this little brush wherever I put my palette here and just go over top of that because it's a creamy pencil you want to make sure you set it with powder it's kind of the same idea with foundation and it also kind of smokes it out because on the bottom it's a little smokier And this is kind of where you really perfect your look. If you want to grab a Q-tip, because I have to remove that extra little dab there. And then along the bottom, I'm going to take that same color hoax. Hoax? I don't know. I say hoax. Um, I don't know. It could be something totally different. And I'm going to take a really, really soft, fluffy brush, wherever I put it. Yeah, like a 213. And I'm just going to run this along the bottom and that's what's going to give you that smoked out effect on the bottom of the eye and then I am going to put my mascara on and I'll come back and I'll show you what I have on the rest of my face okay so this is the completed look very pretty look I quite like this one um, I used, well you saw what I used on my eyes obviously, on my cheeks I used NARS Orgasm Blush which is a new one for me so I will do a review on it in a little bit um, and then I used the Mineralized Skin Finish in Refined and that's it for my face and then for my lips I used MAC Lipstick in Ultra Madame it's just a really light pink color and then over top of it I used uh, Viva Glam VI6 I think that is I don't know um, lip glass now this is the one that has like the purpley tone to it so it's not the really uh, pink one so it just has a little bit more purple to it because in the picture she's wearing more of a plummy brownie color that I can't pull off because um I am not her surprisingly so hope you guys enjoyed that hope you're having a good day and uh, Keep requesting looks guys and I really appreciate all of the subscribers I have and I appreciate the ratings as well. I don't really want to ask for them but I just want you to know that I do appreciate them. So have a good day. I love this clip in my hair that's like making my hair do really funky little things. But anyway, um, see you later guys. Bye.